I find that, I don't know, it's such a weird way we're brought up thinking about time. One, you don't realize that you've got only a few years on this earth. And then two, you don't realize that even when you have work time, as much as you're being paid for that time, it's still yours. Like how you use it during those productive hours, it's still yours to to kind of break apart and, and see how to make it more efficient. And I think understanding the construct of time and how it relates to you and how it can serve you or not serve you is very important. And if you make a decision to waste time and it's a conscious decision, today I'm just going to sit, I'm going to just chill, I'm not doing anything. I think that there is power in that. If you get your day and you say, today I'm going to do all these things, I'm going to try and do all of this, at the end of the day I'll be tired, but I'll be fulfilled. Again, that's valid. But the beauty of being on this side of, of reality and, and philosophy is you start to see how much little time you have. Like, it's not there. It's not It's not going to just keep giving you if you're doing nothing with it. You get to a point where you're just going downhill because you've not used the hours you have, and you don't even notice it until you're much older or you're like, what did I do with my time? Mm. Does that make sense? Like, no, that that makes. You sit back sense, and yeah. you know you hear it so so often. I wish I had, yeah, I wish I had done more of this, and I wish I'd done more of that. But yeah, I'm at the stage where I do not want to be that person. Yeah, I want to say I had this much time, and even though I wasn't as productive as I could have been, I chose to just sit on some days.